Hi everybody, welcome back. Uh, this is Phil Dimitriotis and we're going to keep moving forward. Uh, in the last lecture we talked about some character design basics. We were working with shapes and I just did a series of thumbnails. I have them right here. Okay, I developed this page right here. Let me just scale down. We did this really quick. We spent about about 20 minutes on a page here. We just nailed out some base body shapes and then after that page was done we came back and we did another page. Actually, I did a third page and I forgot to save it, um, but that's okay. Uh, then we went back into these and we picked uh, the key shapes that we liked. And you know what? There, th that's Here's one that I still like right here I thought was different too. You know what? I want to grab that one because that's one I didn't think about doing. And just in case you missed part of that lecture, what we did is you just take your shape like this. We're going to just copy that from there and then turn this off. I'll come over here and turn this back on. And you can see I have some large... I just paste them in there. So here I put another layer in here. I'm going to hit paste. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale this guy up a little bit, move him over to about right here. Okay. And um, you know, I want to go back. I like to do this thing every now and then where I pick something that I normally wouldn't have worked with or would have gone towards. So just taking a look at here, you know, I, I like that like weird head. Vikings look like they could have weird heads from being in tons of different battles, right? And a um, couple other shapes I've seen before. Let me see. I want to pick something that I'm trying to look at something I wouldn't pick and then go the total opposite way with it. Because sometimes I think that that could be a valid solution for... Uh, I know it can. I do that with my environment. So if I can do it with environments and be successful, I know I can pull it off um, in other areas of design. Okay. So, you know what? I, did I, let me see if I picked this guy right there already or not. Um, no, I didn't. Let's go ahead... I want to come in here. I like this guy sort of tall and thin because there's a couple of things I can do with him. Let me copy him. Okay. And uh, let's jump back over here. Let me minimize this. All right. There we go. And I'm going to paste him in right here. And let's just scale him up. All right. There we go. So got another character to work with here. Again, raw, we're, we're working with rough body shapes here. Um, real simple. Oops. Let me just close it right there. There we go. Okay. Um, now I have these on separate layers, and again, what you want to do, I mentioned you guys, you want to find your key body shapes that you have. Take those key body shapes and then start developing off of them. That's, that's a key. It's like a golden little secret. By, by taking these shapes and drawing on top of them, you never know what you're going to end up with. Okay, you could, uh, It's sort of a, a process of elimination where you keep going and going and going. The next thing you know, it takes you to another stepping stone and you really hit something that's a lot of fun. Um, I, I really like this exploratory work method. This is the way that I like to work. Some people don't like to do this. They like to be very specific and think, okay, if I'm doing a Viking, it's going to look exactly like a Viking. I can't explore. No, that takes sort of the fun out of it. So I love to explore. I think it's a lot of fun. So I'm going to go ahead and start drawing in just a sec. We'll be right back here. Let me just get uh, everything set up and then we'll start to sketch. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're all set up now, and um, I want to show you an approach that I learned. I've actually learned this from a couple really good character designers that I've worked with when I was working as an environment artist, um, and I was watching them draw characters, and actually it's a great approach. It's something I, I, um, I think about four different designers I've seen do this, and it's a real wonderful way to work. You have some base shapes here to work with, right? I, all I did is I dropped the opacity down a little bit. You can see if I bring them all the way up here, there are just some base round shapes. So uh, something that's really nice to do is start with a base shape like this, come back up on top of it, and then let's work really rough, okay? And so when I'm talking about working really rough, I'm just finding more shapes, and I'm not locking in anything. So it's just some of you aren't used to doing this. It's sort of like happy circle time, and then you could come over here. I, I had this idea... Earlier I was talking about a little bit before if I had Vikings, like I might have some type of a beard that might be, you know, sort of connected right in here. And as I keep coming into this, let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit more. There we go. Right in here. Okay. Um, same thing here. So, again, it's just you stay rough and then you could go over this again. You know, I might have an ear sort of in here somewhere. Um, I like this idea of another beard sort of... Uh, tied together and sort of coming through right in here okay and then maybe he's just got this sort of bumpy chin and um, I'm not even gonna get in the eyes right now or think about that other stuff I just want to think what else I can go off in terms of the shape now um, he, he's obviously very big he's very thick he's very brooding right um, 
I, I just, when I was sketching him, I sort of had this, this thought like he had this, maybe he had just like a huge belly filled from eating at night and maybe just sort of hung over his feet a little bit. So maybe his feet actually come down in here a little bit more like this. And then um, maybe there's somewhere just like right in here. And then he's got these sort of old shoes that have like a little point or something on them. I don't know. Just get in here. So I'm, I, I just like to get in here and define this up a little bit. So I'm thinking maybe his belt line might be somewhere in here. Maybe he's got a couple little gizmos on here. He's got, you know, maybe a holder for a knife. Maybe he's got another bag where he keeps uh, something, right? Just, again, I like to come in here, get some center lines in here, sort of stay rough, and let's just see how he develops, okay? So there's nothing wrong with, with working on this approach and then building your character upward this way because you have something to start with. And you're, again, you're roughing it out and, um, a huge importance to get that and get that done correctly. I'm just going to stop talking for a little bit here and sketch another shoe in here. I started sketching a circle there and I realized like wait a minute here if I draw through if this leg shapes over here this is just way off that needs to be way you know this is on this side right here this has to be on the other side adjoining to this hard to draw through the shape I would have something like that right right so, and now I sort of had that weird bend in there. Now I'm looking back at that and I'm sort of like, eh, I don't know. Maybe I don't need that in there. Maybe it's just sort of this round, curvy shape right now. Okay. And, uh, well, sorry about that. It's going to keep sketching in here and see what, see what else comes up. Now, when we look at the shape, when I'm roughing it out, what would be boring right now, right? Look at his waist from here, his head from here to the bottom of his belly, right? So if I came in here and if I split this right in the middle and put that as like the shirt line and the pant line, that wouldn't look good. So it's in my best interest to either drop his pant line because it's symmetry. See, that's the equal distance from here as it is to there. So it's in my best interest now as I develop my character to think about perhaps dropping his pant line down in a lower section like this where it's much lower, you know, um, or raising his pant line up a little bit. Maybe he has a problem keeping his pants up. So he has his pants somewhere up here and that could be sort of funny you know it could he could wear him up really high and then he has a like a pair of suspenders in here or something and, and these wrap over part of his shoulder like this okay no reason why it couldn't be like that we'll, we'll get to the theme in a little bit here now it's just you know again let's rough out the shapes figure out where we're going with them let's get start to get the arms in here now i wasn't planning on posing this guy or doing any expressions um, you guys can do that. Absolutely. I totally recommend that. Anytime you break that silhouette in, in of just the round figure here and you add something a little bit more, what I mean by that, for example, if I come in here and I put a, an arm in here and then I have his wrist come out like this a little bit and then his hands are sort of in here, let's say. Okay. See that? Just the fact that this pops out a little bit more of a shape, it's going to do a lot more to enhance the feel of, uh, of of this character. And again, remember, we're going rough here. So I was imagining this here connecting up to about here. So what if I really push this upper arm? And he's got like these huge deltoids and sort of blend into a tricep and then maybe it gets a little bit lower. Okay. Um, and then same thing here. So if I come back over here, sort of, you know, that light line right there going through, checking over, matching my proportions, right? So maybe I... Um, not sure what I want to have that other arm doing. Maybe I just have him sort of could be reaching, coming back this way a little bit. Let me see. Again, be rough. See what comes in there. Maybe he's coming here and he's in these sort of fore foreshortened. He could be holding a spear right in there. Okay, yeah, let's just try that. Let me just throw. That way I'm breaking the silhouette. You see that? It's just not this round blump of a guy like this with arms all tucked in. So I sort of like that approach right now because it gives me something more to work with. So I'm gonna have where this arm comes to here, right? That's where I'm ending that one right there. So if I come over, take about that distance from here to here, get that, that's roughly about there. So then I'm gonna foreshorten this forearm. That's gonna be here and it's gonna, you know, have these like big round forearms, okay? And then, so you might actually come to like a little point like that. And then I might have, looking at the angle of the spear here. Let me pull them off to the side a little bit. Sorry guys, I didn't realize I'm working in the middle of the page here, but that's okay. 
So now I might come in here and decide, like, you know, I got to think of something that might be Vikingish or different. Maybe it's just start with that for right now, right? And I could change it a little bit later. Okay. Um, enhance the silhouette and stuff. Modify that a little bit later. So there. Now I'm getting a good rough and I get a good feel for what his arms feel. They're very heavy up here. And then they sort of come down. And then here his hands are sort of coming over here. He's got, you know, he's going to have what I call meat fingers. Um, I don't mean to say that in disrespect to anybody. I have a couple um, buddies of mine that are football players. And um, actually I was putting, just trying to put his... Um, thumb like wrapping around the side there but you know what it's you know what I guess it would be okay it could be coming up like that sort of like that meshing on there okay um yeah I could have his thumb up on it like that but again I'm just roughing so it doesn't matter here that might be part of the base of his hand and then we're coming up there and that's not bad now I'm getting a pose at, um that's that's having some weight some solidity to it I have the arms in there I have a good feeling Looks like he look he's grabbing something almost like he's hungry. I got a little beard on there. And I have a good shape right there, right? So I've taken my basic shape. Now I'm really rough in this. And then we're gonna talk about where we can push this. What I, I lost my train of thought there. I was saying um, meat fingers or sausage fingers. I had a couple buddies that played football and they have like these really big fingers. And a lot of times when I'm drawing characters, it's just something that when I look back at like Mad Magazine, you know, when I stuff that I used to look at when I was a kid. I remember seeing fingers like this and then it all sort of made sense when I knew like people that were like big people. And what I mean by big people, the, not that they were overweight, but they were just, they were large in proportion. And sometimes they had like these little nails surrounded by like big midi, meaty fingers. You know what I mean? And someone might have a thumb like this with just like a little nail sort of on it like that. And there might be a, another finger that's in here like this. And it's just got like a little meaty does that make sense? And so if I sketch a hand super quick here, um, doing something, like if let's say if I have a hand right here, uh, what am I doing? Sort of lost my train of thought there because I was thinking of something else. Um, that way I can think of exactly how these little fingers, does that make sense? See how they're like surrounded by the, they're like small little nails. That's what to me like what a viking would have you might have something like that he's just gonna have these little you know little teeny fingers and even if we could see like imagine if his pinky was coming straight out it would just be something like that right i know we we're missing a finger there but you understand my point of what i'm getting at here okay sausage fingers that adds a lot to the weight of the character so now you know if i come in here and i start to add a little bit of weight to this guy um feeling now well, i'm talking about weight let's let's dive on that you guys it's hard to draw and talk at the same time um, because I want to just draw and keep working on this and see where I develop. So weight, what am I talking about weight? I want to have, make sure the lines are feel like they're weighted down. I want to make sure the character has weight. So, you know, how do I get that? I mean, I have his beard here that's hanging, um, his belly. I, you know, I might come in here and take my light eraser and just sort of lightly erase some of this in here and then make sure that belly feels like it's really sort of curving and dropping down to the ground and then i got to make sure to look at exactly where it's sort of hitting the ground you know i that obviously has gone too far there so if i get it to round off oops sorry that was my centique wigging out there that's okay there if i get it to sort of round and hit i want it to feel like it's dropping and then remember center lines we've been talking about center lines with using perspective right it's the same thing that's going to come into a character design it doesn't matter if i'm working realistic or i'm working very stylized I want to make sure that center line feels like. I want to make sure there's the right proportional distance. If I were to come in here and say, okay, um, my horizon line is right about here. So anytime I look up, I'm going to be looking underneath an object, right? So if my horizon line is right about here in my design and I'm looking down and this is the center, I want to make sure this proportion is pretty equal to this side. Even though this might be wrapping around the, the corner here, which it can, I still might want to adjust that center line just a little bit more because why is that center line important? Why is that center line important for me? Well, he's going to have a belt on, right? He's going to have something that might be holding his pants up. He might have another waistband. There are all kinds of different things, and it needs to also connect to part of his face too. Okay, so um, this is a, a really great approach. It's just being rough like this. Um, the rougher you are, the more likely you are to capture the pose that you're looking at. 
and to not care about what you're doing. It's extremely, extremely important part of, of drawing. You can't get in there and just sort of be like, okay, here's my line. I'm turning, I'm turning. Wait, hold on. I'm, uh oh, I gotta erase. I gotta go back. Wait, wait, wait. I turned it. Oh no, thick, thin, thick. You know, uh, doesn't work. Be rough, be loose, be fluid. Now, I'm looking at this. I don't like that turn like this. Um, I want to get that in some form of a three quarter angle. So I might come in here. I like the thought of here's this big guy. He's got to be wielding something huge and freaking giant and heavy, right? Now, there's my horizon line, right? So if I label that, I know I'm looking up. So again, watch. I'm going to come in here, put something like that. Okay, center line that guy. Boom. Now I have a center line. So what does that mean? It means if I have an axe head that comes off, off of that, it's going to come out like that. Let me move my little line here. It might come out like that. Then drop. Does that make sense? Here's the center line. So now it's going to... So it's, it's sort of like if I was drawing back through the other side. Remember? Drawing through the shape. If I draw through that shape... That'd be the other slit there. And so if I came back in here, this is basically a cube that's in here, right? Right, folks. So if I come down here and I draw that out, find the center point, bring that, and then curve from here to here. See how that makes sense? That way, on the opposite side, I have to get the curve correctly. So remember we talked about proportional division if I were to cross that right there. So if I were to cross that from the middle right here, go from that end to there, figure out it would land. I'm just roughing this right now, right? It's getting about right there. So what does that mean? That means when I get in here, I can't just make up that curve. I need to connect from this end through and see that. You can see where my arch was off because I was just sort of eyeballing it, right? Again, this is the benefit from just roughing real quick and having fun. There, so now I'm getting something that I like. I like the fact that that's going through. Let's come back here. Um, I drew this really rough. I went a little bit past there. So this might come just a little bit past. That's all right. Get that curve, and then we're going from that corner through to there, right? The ha. And then look, look at that center line going in there. And you get that coming right down like so, right? There we go. Has a little bit more weight. Feels like it could be a little bit more um, constructive and perspective. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to see if I can't thicken this up a little bit. I, you know, this guy's a Viking, right? He he, he has. You know, this guy chops down trees to make his own toothpicks when he eats, right? Absolutely. So, look, I'm going to give him something really thick and heavy. And then let's go in here and let's start putting some detail. But that's sort of step one. You see how I developed them? So, let's go over. Um, since I'm doing this demo at home, I don't have the pressure of interruptions. My kids are on sleepovers. So, hey, perfect time to draw. Okay, so that's character number one. Let's go over here now. Let's move over and let's take a look at this other guy that I had right here. Okay, so give me one second. Let me thin this down. I need to adjust this layer right here. Okay, um, and what I'm going to do just for, for sakes, I'm going to move him over just a teeny bit. One second here, okay? All right, one second here. Let's uh, move. Let's get him right over here. There we go. So he's separate. All right, now um, let's start roughing him out. Okay, so I already have one character roughed out. And, uh, you know, let's just, it doesn't hurt. Do it again. You know, that's the benefit of practice here. I, I'm going to rough out the shapes and I'm also in that rough out trying to make sure my center lines are there and I want to make sure my characters have weight to them. I want to make sure they are attached to the ground plane. Okay. When I look back at this guy that I just did right here, I look back at him and I come back and especially if I scale him down a little bit and look at him, he feels like he has visual weight. He feels heavy. Look, I have a horizon line that's in here. See that? So anytime I'm looking down, I'm looking on top of something. When I'm going to be looking up, I'm going to be seeing under his chin. That's important for me. I want to keep that visual weight progressing inside my piece and then just keep drawing. Okay, now, so let's zoom back in. Let's go over here. Okay, uh, let's keep that up. Let me get that other shape there, minimize it. Still getting hit a little bit there. I'll tell you what, let me do this. Let me come here. Let me, uh-oh, I didn't mean to do that at all. Come on, pencil. There we go. Yep, save. And let's go back to eraser. Aha, eraser is back. Now, this is a pretty base shape right here. Okay, look at He's just sort of like weeble wobbly. Okay. Um, give me a second. Let me move this over. Paul. Oh. And let me just hit move. Move that guy just a little bit over like that. Okay. Aha. Perfect. 
That way I have a little bit more room to draw. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Now that I have my room in here, um, let's go over here. I'm going to keep my horizon lines sort of that same place, okay? Um, oops, I just realized I'm... Pay attention, Phil. I'm too busy talking. Um, I drew on the wrong layer there, so let me come back there. Now I have the right layer up, okay? All right, so I'm going to come in here, throw my little horizon line down in here, and let's start sketching some more shapes. Now, um... This shape is somewhat similar, so I need to make some other decisions on this and figure out what I might want to do. So, again, let's just work rough. If I don't like it, you can delete it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and record myself so you guys can watch it. Might have to pause, though, in a little bit. I'm drinking some good coffee, too. Might have to pause just in case um, the video recorder starts going too long. Sometimes it doesn't. It slows down the computer memory, but I'm not getting any real lag right now. So... I I like this guy's got a much larger head ball in here, which is really cool. I already had sort of a center line in there sketched. Um, I got to give props to where they're due. Uh, I'm very thankful that I had I had the ability to work with Phil Mendez. He was my director on a project. He studied under a couple of the nine old, nine old animators from Disney. Sorry, my nose is getting clogged all of a sudden. And um, Phil is just totally amazing. And I remember watching him sketch and draw, and Phil used to talk a lot about... Just be rough. Just have fun. Don't worry about the drawing. Um, feel the shape. Feel the weight. Feel what's happening. You know, distort it. Modify it a little bit. I, I like this feeling of this guy's, like, heaviness coming down here. But then I, I put this rounding element to it. Well, this guy does the same thing. So now I'm thinking, what if I just bring him down like this? And I just boom, boom. Just drop him like a weight. Almost where he just practically hits the ground. What if I just in what if I take the opposite of what I have here? I was thinking of curving them this way, but that might not look right. So what if I just do this and just sort of lightly just make them really heavy, like bam, this guy's just one huge Viking. Okay? Now, I've been watching uh the Vikings TV show, which is a wonderful show. Um thinking of some ideas that I might be able to punch up or blow up on this guy. Maybe this guy has got like you ever met people that just have a ton of facial hair you know i mean maybe this guy's just got like this huge beard system it's in here he's got like a huge beard that comes here and it comes like to here and then maybe it just drops down and it's just like boom, boom and it comes down and, it's, and then once it comes down maybe there's even look center line maybe there's even a part here that comes down and this is even more of a you know what? I just have this weird idea. What if he has some like weird Viking symbol, the Gaelic symbol or something in the middle of his beard? I, I don't know why. You know what? I just thought of like an Indian uh, like neck or, or a decorative um, element they, that they might have in there for some reason. There, and he might have that bearded. He, this guy's really proud of his beard, right? Absolutely. Nothing wrong with that. He's a Viking. Vikings kick ass, right? They can be that way. So let, let's do that with this guy. Um, now I can push the proportions on the face a little bit later, but again, I'm just trying to be rough here. I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen. This guy had high pants. This guy's going to have low pants. Okay. So maybe this guy, literally his pant line is like down here like this. Okay. But you know, maybe this guy's almost like the king in some way. He, he's got this like super, you know, like a boxers have that their belt from their championships, but I don't, I want I don't want it to be square, though, because he's not square. So I need to come in here, rough this out, figure out a way to round it. You know what? I just had this feeling. What if this was like wood somehow? So look at my horizon line. Where am I right? I'm looking down on this a little bit. Okay. What if you had this like large wooden belt? Okay. So since I'm under my horizon line right here, I want to get a little bit more curve wrapping around that that waist there like so now what I like to do is find a trait in a character and then really push it quite a bit so for this character what I thought could be cool is even though he's you know low pants big beard um, maybe he's the other guy looked like he's having tiny ears maybe this guy needs to have huge ears I don't know just developing as he goes right and then maybe he's got his figure out his hair in a minute here uh what i was thinking is this guy has knives maybe he's got a ton of knives right he's just known as being the knife guy 
and he just carries a shield. So I got to figure out, I'm starting to think maybe he's got a knife coming off his back like this somehow. And I shouldn't say knife. They're going to have, Vikings had like, like pleated, you know, like giant blacksmith swords, you know, that, that people would, you know, that they might use. But you know what, maybe he's got, you know, maybe here he's got like a dagger tucked in his belt. He's got something here. Maybe he's got stuff he's, you know, acquired from his enemies, right? Maybe that's his prized possessions that he keeps. He might have something. Wouldn't that be funny if he walks? He's so short, and when he walks, like the knife tips are hitting the ground or something, right? Everybody knows he's coming. He's got something else there. He's got a bag of here of goodies, and then right here, got to have something else right here. Boom, let's say it hits to there. Okay. And he's got maybe he's got a little you know what? He they ran out of he's so wide, they ran out of a fur jacket for him. So his fur jacket just goes to like here and it goes to the and I know look, there's my horizon line, right? So I'm gonna just barely put it up and bring it down just a little bit like that. You know what? And I even did that too soon. My bad. I'm not drawing through. Come on, Phil. There we go. There we go. Let's get that. I mean, that you're such a small elliptical shape there, right? Because the horizon line. I mean, you're literally just like barely look under a cup like that because it's just barely above, right? But that's okay. It's a character design. We could tweak it a little bit. So let's get in here. And he's going to have this vest on. This big like animal vest going through here so what does animal vest have it has fur it's not it has like fur popping out of it it's you know it's not going to be straight lines it's going to come down it's going to have a part that pops out it's going to ha even have like maybe these little fur wigs whatever okay on it and then worry about some of the rest later you know okay there he goes he's got the fur got the, he's got this wicked looking goatee And he's got to have, I'm liking that so much. What if he has just like this, this huge mustache? Almost like this. Huge. You need to see a little bit of a lip underneath. And he's just, the mustache is just like, it comes right to like a little point. And then it's something like that. Okay. Just an idea. All right. I can change it later. If I don't like it. Rough. I'm working rough right now. Right? Having fun. Get yourself to loosen up. You know what? I'll do these and be really rough. And then all of a sudden, a little bit later, guess what happens? I like to be getting ready to go to bed. And then I think of the solution. The solution is a series of shapes, another idea, something else that gets me to another, another point or direction on, on what I'm working on. Right? There we go. So he's got that huge beard there. Okay. Um, you know what? I really just was picturing about this guy. We'll deal with the other guy later. But I just imagine this guy having this, like, you know, Vikings had wooden shields, right? So I don't know. I'm, I haven't worked on his feet yet. Maybe he might just be something like this. Oh, stink. Flagmore. I just was making up a name there. I don't know if his name would be Flagmore or not, but maybe he has a boot. See, now this is where I need to do a little research. I'm just drawing out of my head right now, but... I I'm a, I'm don't know what kind of shoe the Viking might have. He's actually starting to look a little bit like a like a Hell's Angel gypsy, but that's okay. I can fix that really quick, right? Um, so look, I'm imagining. Let's let's work on his arms right now, okay? So maybe his arms are sort of. So let's do opposite. This guy. Let's bring these thinner here, like this. So what I wanted to do is have him holding a giant shield, but I want to get him to pop out a little bit. This is part of my idea is that, look, let's see where the, our, my ground plane is right here, right? So if he's got a huge shield right in here, I'm drawing his foot there. That's not the shield, by the way. Sorry. I'm trying to get him anchored to the ground plane so I understand where he is. So once I get him anchored right there, now that I have that, now I could come in to see I need to know where that ground is. And now that I know where that ground plane is right about there, I'm thinking he just has this wooden shield that looks like it's made out of an oak tree that's just like ginormous, right? 
So I'm going to come in here, and I like how that shape is sort of inner interacting. But I just got to get the ellipse right. I know I'm drawing on a Cintiq. It's not the same like paper. I still prefer my paper. Cintiq's fine. Digital's fine, but there's just a drag on paper that I get that I really like. So let me get that ellipse in there. Come on, ellipse. Get those curves in there, baby. Talk to it. Come on, Mr. Lips. Be my friend. There we go. Now I'm going to go in here, get some thickness on that guy. That thing's made out of like, you know, it's like a quarter inch piece of, of uh, wood there. Now I'm hitting his hand. It's a tangent. I could separate them later, but I'm imagining it has one of those big metal protruding elements out of there. Now what I can do is now I need to figure out, I'm imagining, so you got to think of how that hand is going to hit there, right? So draw, does that make sense? Look, I need to figure out that if, that if this is a shield like this and his arm's here, okay, and his arm's going to come and then his forearm's going to be here and he might have a strap for his forearm. They used to have like leather straps um, and... And then they, and then he might have where his fingers go through like this and his thumb, like another strap sort of going over there. So I need to incorporate that in here somehow. Um, hopefully my Greek background won't make me think of some of the Spartan and Macedonian um, <laughs> elements that I've seen before. So this is what I'm going to try to do. I'm just going to map this out right now. I'm going to think, so what I need to do first, let's find the center, okay? Right, let's get just right here. I just want to rough out a rough idea where the center of that shield is, just so it makes sense, right? Now his hand's going to come down to here, and then I'm going to have his arm sort of drop in here like this. And I need to make sure that if he has his arm sort of coming through right in here, his hand, he might have one of those big old sausage fingers. We'll get to that in a minute. Let me just rough this out. Say, so, whenever I catch myself starting not to rough, I know I'm getting too caught up in the details, right? Absolutely. Uh, you can't get caught up in the details. So look, that's that center. So now I'm drawing like a leather strap over there. So now I know that thumb is way off there. That's all right. I can fix that later. I can, I'm just doing the fold right now. I like to do this with hands. I, I did this demo for my friend uh, Evan Burse, really great guy. Um, mittens. That, that's how I draw hands a lot of time is that. And then I understand where the, the relationship of, the, of the, th the thumb is. And then you just have to know that where that joint is, it comes pretty much straight out like this. Okay. And then after that, you sort of have your thumb just like right in here. And so that's it. So then I could come in here and I could put my mittens. So any way that I'm drawing a hand, um, I just come in here and I do that, that fold thing. So if I'm drawing a hand this way and I have my hand like this, then I know, right? Taking a look at this, and if I come down, that's the these are the lower flanges of the finger, right? Here's the midsection. There's sort of like your knuckles in here. That comes down to your wrist, which means you have that little, you know, you come over here, you have that like little curve right in here. And then there's that little curve part. See, that's it. So as long as I keep that one, two, boom, like that, it's that one, two, boom. So that's all you really have to know. Just think of wearing mittens. Break it down into simplistic form, and it'll be a whole lot easier to draw. Uh, that demo is still up. It's on YouTube. Type in "drawing hands," and I believe it's with uh, it's Cartoon Block with Evan Burst. Really super nice guy. Awesome guy. So now I'm punching up his forearm. You see that? Look, I want to make that forearm. This guy just—I mean, look at how big he is. He's got this mass on him, right? And he's just—I want this. I just think it's funny if it comes up, and he's got these little skinny arms up here and then if he's a stinky viking so he's got hair under his armpit maybe right i know he's starting to look like a biker i keep telling myself that in the back of my mind however though i can fix that in just a little bit there so i have some some stuff happening there so let, let's just let's finish this guy up and then we can come back and put some other details on him and see where he progresses um huge sword huge forearm right here man he's starting to look like a guy from like sons of anarchy or something um, let's see here. I, I'm thinking, what if he has his, you know what? He has a big sword he uses, and it might be like right here. And I want to break. So again, I'm going to draw through the shape right here to find that other arm. See where that is, right? It's going to be about right there. Okay, going through, you see that? About right there. So now that I have that, I can sketch that arm. I know exactly the where the position of that elbow is going to be if I come back to the other side. So it's going to be about right, right here. So now I can foreshorten. So if I'm imagining him standing here, and he's got his big old 
sausage finger hand. Okay. Yeah, I know. I swear to God, I have my friend. Sorry, Tim, but my buddy Tim, I can't say his last name, but if he sees this, he'll probably be like, Phil, you're a jerk. Uh, his sausage fingers are so big. His little is, you know, he could barely pick up a pencil off a table. It's really funny. He was a Fullerton College football player um, under one of the greatest coaches ever, Hal Sherbeck, right? And then after that, after coaching football, he, uh, excuse me, after playing football, he went to Chapman University. And every time I see him, I still, I'll put a pencil on the table and then go, dude, pick up that pencil for me, Tim. And his little big, his sausage fingers can like barely do it. So I like that big meaty hand. Now I got a foreshorten, right? Look, elbow, bring that line over, boom, elbow right here. So I got a foreshorten. We're going to go from a wrist right in here and he's going to drop down. Look at how meaty that is. So he's going to drop down from that cylinder shape right there down to about something about right in there. Does that make sense? really really foreshortened and then the outside of his arm might come down about there now here's the catch is that even though it's so foreshortened it might catch up we might not see all of it right there but that's fine for right now okay there okay so i have i, I like what i have now i'm getting some cool shapes in here uh you know what let me put an interior ellipse in here I, sorry i just want to put an interior ellipse so i can make it look like there's, you know, they, they, they had access to metal. They made swords, right? So that way I can make it look like there might be metal that's wrapped around here. And then I'm going to put some studs like wrapping around. I remember the studs, as these guys recede away and wrap around that elliptical shape, they're going to get closer together. Okay, that's key to remember. That's perspective 101, right, guys? You guys should know that. So here, when I come over here, when I draw that next one, it's going to start to get closer. But then here, as it's wrapping around, the distance is getting, it's not further apart, it's actually getting greater as it's turning. So the distance from here to here is equal from the distance from here to about right there if I draw through the shape. So I'm going to have maybe one nub about there and then another nub about right there. Does that make sense? I want that to feel correct in perspective. I want to have a good feeling. Now, that one's just a little bit too close. That's me not paying attention. Talking. Then we get the other one in about right here. Oops, phone. Let me pause real quick. Let me see if my wife gets it. Oh, she got it. Cool. Okay. And let me come over here. So, get one there. All right. Now, this is the way that I work. I like working rough like this because I feel like I'm developing characters that I never thought of, okay? Um, I thought it would be funny if this guy just had a little small, I maybe it's too small, like a little Viking hat on him, but maybe that's not going to work. Maybe I need to take it up a whole step where he's literally got this brooding, maybe we could barely see his, in fact, what if it came over his beard a little bit? Just a thought. What if it came down in like this and he's just got this huge like Viking helmet that's on him like this? Uh, I don't know. Now I'm now I'm second guessing because I'm like, well, I'm above the horizon line to be looking up, but it's maybe tilting down on his face. I don't know. Let me see if I can take some luxuries here. Let's see if what I might end up with. Hold on. Let's see where we go with this. Come on, shapes. What happens? What if I do that? What if I cheated? What if it comes up, overlaps? What if that center does that? And then what if he has some type of decorative element that's like right in here? And then he has like his little Viking crest, whatever, blah, 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 right in here. And that comes down, really widens over. I'm getting a lot of space for his eyes, but I wasn't wanting to do that. I didn't want this guy to have like super. Now let's just go ahead. Let's just throw a set of eyes in here. So I'm marking my distance. Why? Because I don't know. It just sticks in the back of my mind. Even if I draw something cartoony or it doesn't matter if it's realistic, I always come back and think equal proportions, five eyes across. I still want to have something that fits to that, you know? Um, oh, I just got it. I almost need to put on Enya or something. We need to hear some Viking music or something, right? Again, I wanted this guy to like have these eyebrows that just like came out. Maybe it's, that's what it is. Maybe the eyebrow comes all the way over part of that eye. Okay, and then let's get in here and now I could just put like a little dot like that, which isn't bad. It's sort of funny. Sometimes I like to throw another secondary, which is like the pupil color, 
and just put a couple lines across it because it gets it to pop out. That's actually sort of cool. I like that. Now this helmet, it, it helmet is starting to work for me a little bit because I, what I did is I tried to curve that shape up to make it look like it's like rounding, but then we could see a little underneath it, but then it has this element that's curving up here that's coming down. And then let me come over here. Let's get that other eye in that. Let's get that brow in there first, right? Um, hold on. That should be maybe a little bit longer. Okay. There we go. Okay, getting that other eye in there. And I don't have much of an expression on him right now. Um, still, I like the beard. It's still some things I want to push about him. And I haven't figured out what yet. What if his biking helmet was a little bit different? What if, I know they're always sort of like a rounded. What if he had this? Just a thought, right? Just to really push that silhouette. When I think of like Thor and the Vikings, I think of shapes that are popping out like that. You know what I mean? What if he has that shape popping out on the side of his helmet here? And then he has like a metal stud that's right there. And, um... Maybe he does have a little rounding element that's in here. Okay, and then when I come over to this side, so I'm looking against that shape now, right? So I might have this. Now, there, it sort of came forward up to about here. So hold on a minute. I'm just roughing this in. Let me see. Let me think. Boom. So maybe this comes up like so. I don't know. I'm just, just experiment, right? Might change it a little bit later. Just a thought. Nah. Well, hold on. It's back up there. Working rough here, right? Maybe it's like sharp like a knife. And you just, yeah, maybe it's just that for right now. Maybe it's just got a different shape. Maybe, let me see. What if I connect that and it goes over? Will that do anything for the shape of the helmet? Yeah, it's all right. It's on its way. It's something. And by the way, I'm hitting the fingers now. I want to turn those, curve them. My thought was he had his hand open and maybe in the palm of his hand. So maybe I might change his grip now. Um, he Maybe he's holding something. Um, so if I get his forearm in here, like so. I was thinking he had a, a huge sword. So his hand is now wrapping around. So draw that mitt, remember? So look, I'm going to be seeing his knuckles. He's going to be wrapping his hand around like this. Okay, that's going to be his mitten. See that? That's his wrist, okay? That's like finger one, finger two, okay? Oops, I got a little crooked there, that's all right. Three, and then the fourth one's always like a little nubbin. You can barely see it. So we get in there, and he might be holding some of this, and then he's got, let me just see if I can put some weight on this. Maybe he's just got like this. That's his sword top, but it's maybe tilted down a little bit, so. It's at an angle. It's not under the horizon line. It's just at an angle. He's holding. I don't know. I'm just making it up. I mean, I'm not making that part up. He's holding it and it's tilted. See, it's at an angle. So we're going to see since it's tilting at us. Um, that might be the top there. And I might do that. There we go. That's sort of the direction I was going for. Okay. And then maybe this needs to come. Gosh, I want him to have just this big, ridiculously fat, nonsense sword that so if that hits the ground I'm trying to think if I could cheat here a little bit if I could just get this to like go and bend forward maybe it just maybe it does that it just angles it has a different type of blade on it okay all right we can fix that later anyway there's a character. There's something I can work with right in there. I can just go in now. So do you see, before I had a shape. So let me take off the underline. Let's take a look at what we have. Okay, there. Now I got something I can work with. It's rough, but that's fine. That's a part of design. And look at him. He's rough. Okay, let's go and let's develop this guy's face now. Let's try to push him and see where he ends up. He's a Viking, right? So, um, I don't know. Oops, I'm on the wrong layer. Sorry about that. Um, where do I want to go with this guy? He might have a... I'm wondering if he looked a little dumb and he had just like a big nose. Huh?
he's a little confused by the time a day it is outside, maybe. I don't know. It just looks like he could be. He's got such a big axe. I almost want to put that other eye looking in a little bit. Like, I don't know. Something like that, so. And I'm tempted to put a lip that comes almost up and touches. And we see a little bit of the top of his lip there like that. And then remember, he's got this beard that's going to wrap here, right? So i got to make sure that fits in there somehow. That's sort of fun, though. He could be just a sort of big brooding guy. You know, what if he had a little goatee here? Maybe he can't grow. It's like my, my buddy, Alex, who's Korean. He, he grows, like, facial hair on some places, but he can't grow a goatee to save his life. Uh, maybe he's like that. He's just got this little teeny goatee right there. I sort of like that. He's sort of confused a little bit. Um, let me see. Ears feel good to wear. Now, remember, in proportion, I am cheating this a little bit. You know, I like to always keep my ears in, ears are in proportion to where the eyes and the ears tend to end to where the base of the nose is. So, I, I don't know. I you got to be careful of that. I don't... Let me just adjust it. I know me being picky, but I want the ear to make... There's a proportion that we see that has to fit in, in a character. And, and I really believe strongly about tying things to correct proportions and perspective to get them to feel accurate. What if this guy is sort of like a, what if he just had this like mohawk he's been growing? I just thought that'd be funny. I know, maybe Vikings don't have little mohawks. Maybe he's just got a little bit of a mohawk. A couple hairs up on the top there or something, okay? He's a Viking, right? And then we imagine... Boy, that would be fun. Let me just do it real quick. Just as fun just to come over here. Steal from Braveheart. Imagine if he just had paint like this. It was like, oh. Whew. That could be really funny, right? If I rendered him up and he had like stripes over his face like this. Right? Why not? Look at that. That would be freaking hilarious. He's got a little pinch there. He's got a little semi-stripe there. And he's got his war face on, right? I mean, that could be great when I go to render him. That's something that I could do very easily, okay? So um, let, let's work on this. I really like the way this guy started to develop a little bit. So let me just see. Sorry, let me get the right layer here. Let me see if I can just add a little bit. I really like that face, how that developed. I really like the thought of this, this big beard that he has there, you know? But I, I do feel like he's missing a couple Viking elements, uh, maybe he carries his shield, maybe it's, it's like this, maybe it's strapped to his arm like that, right? And then he, and then his shield would be like, boom, like right in here. So, um, I'm going to put a little note to myself. I'm going to put shield. Actually, I'm just going to draw a little sign there because the characters are crossing each other now. So now it's time to put them on their own page and then develop them a little bit more. Okay. But let me go ahead. Let me pause the demo right here. Um, I don't even know where we're at. I've just been drawing, having fun. But you can see what I have here. I have now two characters to work off of. Um, this guy, I really, now I'm looking at his face, and I'm like, uh, I need to really push his face. So I can go back over him. What if I lower the helmet, increase the size, adjust the angle of the ears, make the eyes a little bit different? You know, th this is, it, it's like doing an, you guys, some people haven't had me for an environment uh, in sketching class yet. When I do my environments, one of the key things that I do is that once I get to the shapes that I really like, I go back in and I figure how to really push those shapes and how to get the most out of my design. Right now, this guy needs to be pushed a little bit, but right now, I'm really liking this guy a lot. He's like, oh, like he's going to swing that axe. He's like, squirrel, you know, and he looks to the side or something. So he's, he's fun. He's going. And I like the roughness and the shape. I like his belly. Um, and his pants are up high. I couldn't put a, you know what, what the heck? What if he has a belt? He's like, he looks like the type of guy that might have just like a leather belt that's going across. I know, it's ridiculous, right? It's going and it tucks under his arm. That's all right. If you've been around old people at all, my, you know, old people wear belts like incredibly high, like up on their waist, but I don't know. Let me back up there. Let me pause the recorder right now, and then we'll come back and we'll develop these guys a little bit more. Okay? Be right back.